If you're not fully aware that every single electronic communication is recorded by our spy agencies, then you haven't been listening. But it's not just data from your phone, microphone, camera and the messages you send. It's your TV, lampposts, bins and fridges. If it's connected to the internet, spy agencies are siphoning off a copy of that data. Even your encrypted data isn't safe and it's absorbed into this massive network. NSA uses supercomputers to crack web encryption, files show. Now, what could they possibly do with all this data? There's no way that all of it could be analysed. Well, all of this data is fed into the sentient world simulation, an artificially intelligent supercomputer that creates a copy of the real world and simulations of scenarios are ran through it to judge public reaction and to see the likely outcome of the direction that the world is heading. Now bear with me while I read out this Wikipedia article. Purdue University's Synthetic Environment for Analysis and Simulations, or SEAS, is currently being used by Homeland Security and the US Department of Defense to simulate crises on the US mainland. SEAS enables researchers and organizations to try out their models or techniques in a publicly known realistically detailed environment. It is now capable of running real-time simulations for up to 62 nations, including Iraq, Afghanistan and China. These simulations gobble up breaking news, census data, economic indicators and climactic events in the real world, along with proprietary information such as military intelligence. Bear that in mind, that bit. Military intelligence. So, this is a really old Wikipedia article, by the way, but I'll carry on reading through it. The Sentient World Simulation Project, SWS, is to be based on seas. The ultimate goal envisioned by Alok R. Chattavedi on March 10th, 2006, was for SWS to be a continuously running, continually updated mirror model of the real world that can be used to predict and evaluate future events and courses of action. SWS will react to actual events that occur anywhere in the world and incorporate newly sensed data from the real world. As the models influence each other and the shared synthetic environment, behaviours and trends merge in the synthetic world as they do in the real world. Analysis can be performed on the trends in the synthetic world to validate alternate world views. Information can be easily displayed and readily transitioned from one focus to another using detailed modelling such as engineering level modelling to aggregated strategic theatre or campaign level modelling. Now all openly available information about this program has gone quiet recently but we can be certain that the sentient world simulation really exists and all of our stolen electronic data is being fed into it. Has the age of quantum computing finally arrived? A thousand cubic computer can be in two to the one thousandth states at one time, which is ten to the three hundredth power, says D-Wave CEO Vern Brownell. There's only ten to the eightieth atoms in the universe. Now does this mean it's in ten to the three hundredth universes at the same time? Brownell is dismissive of the critics claiming that the question has been largely settled. He cites Google's comparative test last year in which D-Wave's quantum computer solved certain problems 100 million times faster than a classical computer. This was the old D-Wave computer, so now let's look at the new one. D-Wave's $15 million quantum computer runs a staggering 2,000 qubits. The 2,000Q is a thousand times faster than its predecessor and is leagues ahead in performance compared to today's PCs. D-Wave's quantum computers are already being used in Los Alamos National Laboratory, Google, NASA and Lockheed Martin. D-Wave's goal is to upgrade all of those systems. This is an article from 10 years ago. Sentient World, War Games on the Grandest Scale. Perhaps your real life is so rich that you don't have time for another. Even so, the US Department of Defense, DOD, may already be creating a copy of you in an alternate reality to see how long you can go without food or water 
or how you will respond to televised propaganda. The VOD is developing a parallel to planet Earth with billions of individual nodes to reflect every man, woman and child this side of the dividing line between reality and AR. Now this is just a small collection of data that's open to the public but we know for certain that the technology behind the scenes is far in advance of what's actually admitted. So there's no doubt in my mind that the deep state has merged the quantum computer with the sentient world simulation. And the true reason for all this data collection is to feed it into this AI machine to predict and manipulate the course of humanity. Even now, the sentient world simulation is watching you learn about it. And inside its intelligent mind, is creating a second you, running different scenarios against you to see how you react.